Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I've had a few requests over this last year or so to do a shopping bag. This shopping bag, you can make it any size you want. Either increase the number of inches or decrease the number of inches. The process is the same no matter what size you make it. It's a great beginner's project, so let's get started. This is my fabric for the outside, and then this is the lining. I've stacked them on top of each other the selvage edges are together on both pieces. Also make sure that your folded edges up here are lined up straight across. You're first going to straighten out this edge right here. So place your ruler on one of the lines on your cutting mat and straighten this edge out. Now go over 14 inches and do your second cut. Here are my folded edges right here. I'm going to go over 18 inches and cut. So place your ruler on your line and a little bit more, there we go, and trim. Keep the outside fabric and lining fabric still stacked together. Make sure your edges are even across here. Then you're going to go in two and three quarter inches and put a mark. Draw down five inches and then connect the two lines. This opening here should be eight and a half inches wide. Then you're going to draw some curved lines down here in the corners. Place pins to hold the fabric and then go ahead and cut on your drawn lines. Unfold your pieces and bring front sides together and line up your edges here in the center. Then place pins to hold and stitch one quarter inch around all four sides. And then at each rounded corner, you're going to go in and do little snips. After you have tr uh, done that at all four corners, then bring the front sides out. So you're going to fold this so the front side of your fabric is out. Press the edges along here flat. Then you can either come in one eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, whichever you prefer, and top stitch all around the edges. Take one side and fold it over. Take the lining underneath, or whichever one is on the bottom, take it and fold it under. Leave the other piece of fabric still coming out and you're going to pull it out and around on both sides. As you bring that fabric around, you're going to match it to the other piece of fabric and you will wind up with front sides of the fabric together. So Pin those edges together and you want to pin them all the way across like I've already done over here. Then you're going to stitch a half inch seam all along this edge. Fold the opening back and begin pulling it through. So now one of your sides should look like this. This is the side we just finished stitching. Now you're going to repeat that step so you can stitch this other side together. So take the side you just finished stitching and roll it. Now take 
the fabric that's underneath and bring it out to the other side. And you're going to repeat the same steps you just did to do this. So you're pulling these, that bottom fabric out, bringing the edges together, pinning it all the way across, stitch a half inch seam, and then turn it front side out. Same exact steps. Press the edges on each side of the bag. Then top stitch, you're going to go in either one eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, whatever you prefer, and stitch along both sides. Fold front sides together. Line up your edges at the bottom and along the sides. You're going to stitch the sides of the bag together. So you want to start wherever this opening begins, go out to the side and stitch a quarter of an inch seam all along here. Turn the bag front side out and then up at your handles, take the outside edge of the handle. Let me push this down so you can see it a little better. The outside edge folded under like that and then right up at the top at the fold you're going to stitch across there. Here is the side seam. Down at the lower edge of the side seam you're going to put a mark one inch out this way and one inch out that way. So I just put one of the lines on there, went out an inch, put a mark on each side. On those marks you're going to fold your fabric. And then you're going to fold the other one, bringing them together. Pin to hold that fold. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Pin across here and then stitch a quarter of an inch along this bottom edge. After stitching, turn it back side out. Poke at your corners on both sides and push them out as much as you can. And this is going to be folded over like this. Then you're going to stitch anywhere from three-eighths of an inch in to a half an inch in. If you did a true quarter of an inch, then this seam down in here, you can feel it. You can stitch just slightly beyond where you can feel it right there, which should be about three-eighths of an inch. So stitch all the way across here. Turn it front side out. and you're done. The sides of the bag actually fold in, so when then you open it up to use it, it expands out a little bit. For more tote bag projects, go to the end of this video where you'll see a green screen and click on the links. If you like this video, click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Enter your email address, click on the bell so that you receive future email notifications about my latest video. Also make sure you have notifications turned on on your iPad or your iPhone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing.